Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. We just got a super hype story trailer on the Fade Twitter like about an hour ago. So Levin and I are super excited to see what the Midpoint banner has to bring for us. So Levin, what are your thoughts on the trailer that we got and just in general, what you think might be on this banner? So first of all, hi, I'm Levin. Second of all, I really liked when <laughs> Regan jumped in front of the moon. She is a mystical space lady now, that's fun. And to me, the most important thing was that uh, at the beginning, Eitri pulls the trigger with her hair, which I'm pretty sure confirms her as an Umbra witch. And I think the banner is going to be a crossover with Bayonetta. That is actually such a smart idea. I think you might be right. Yeah, I really think I'm onto something with that. <laughs> <laughs> Mythic hero Bayonetta. <laughs> That would actually be wild. That should be so cool. That would be so cool, but never gonna happen. No, and you already got spoiled, right? So Yeah, I may have already seen it. Alright, but I haven't though, so time to see the gears, I guess? Let's just take a look at you can't, it. You can't do that to me. <laughs> I just did though. Gears. Did I ruin your joke? Gears. It's actually a crossover with Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Damn. Is that Aranus? Oh, is it Pala? I'm Pala. I've come Why? Okay, I would not be able to tell this art and Aranus's art apart, like, in the wild. Literally. Red Duel Flying! Oh, Red Duel Flying, oh no. My Versa might want that. A Versa time. She's already got the Duel 3, too. Wait, she's got Kanto in her weapon. Hmm. Is that Camus? Or what's his name? The Zeke? Yeah, it's serious. Wait, uh, is this blue dual cav? Oh, okay. Oh, Attack they defense really, catch in the regular pool. They really rush out those catches, huh? Yeah, and the menace. You see, he got a menace too. Def Rez is a weird one. Mm, could be a good one. That's Luthier? Oh, hey! Yeah. People have been clamoring for him for a whole hot minute. He's got nice hair. Is this a green mage demo? Wait, that's actually insane. Oh, is it? Yo. Oh, it is. Brown <gasps> Fox and at Swift last. Sparrow. A sw summonable Swift Sparrow in the three-star pool yeah, is actually Yeah, that's amazing. Great. If he's got good stats, I might merge him. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty interested. Although, I guess with Respondent and Nino now, I don't need to. Who could it it's be? It's not, isn't it? It's not. Oh. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. What a surprise. Is she, she a dark a mythic? She has a bird! Please don't be a dark mythic. Moon's elegance, definitely dark mythic. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> And she this gives is so upsetting. Oh, she gives, wait, she gives defense. That's actually amazing. Oh my. Moon Twin Wing. Rest okay. in peace, light season. So it looked like she has uh, damage reduction instead of Null Follow. She's got the dodge, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, is that a generic? Oh, Kanto cool. Thing? Over here? That's yeah. Kind of wild. Kanto thing. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Yes, I do. Uh, Sade yarn? Gulen Bursty? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing. It was all for nothing. Who's the free unit? It's generic, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the generic... Gener generic Sade yarn. Figure. I don't yeah. You, should I go check, or are you gonna go check? I'm checking. Again? Oh, it's Fernand. Okay. That's kinda cool. Who's that? Um, he's just like... Kind of an unpleasant man from Shadows of Valentia. Oh, he's just like kind of a haughty noble type who's mm -hmm. sort of a recurring villain in the story. I, th I don't. know, It's been a hot minute since I played the game, and I don't honestly remember this story that well. He's got cool hair. Yeah. Uh, he's probably going to be another Lance Cav. So, Again. Um, after... I guess we haven't gotten one recently, right? We just got Orson and. Uh, Oh, yeah. So the about yeah him. the floor is pretty low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ouch, but but true. Uh, should we take a look? Maybe at they'll these? maybe they'll pull an Uno reverse card and give him a sword. That'd actually be cool. We don't have that many uh, sword calves available, really. Yeah. But also, sword calves are dead on arrival because Ellie would exist. And Sigurd and Kev yeah. who are all yeah. better options. Anyway, let's take a look at their skills. Lady Blade. <laughs> That's such a strange name. <laughs> That's. Wait. 
I don't like this. Wait, what? This just power creeps Alencia. I don't like that. This is a dual phase brave weapon that also calculates damage using the lower foe's defense or res and also has Kanto. You can't just... Where's my legendary Alencia? Why are you doing this? Also, is that attack res rain I see on her? That's... <laughs> I oh, guess it cause... works with her weapon, but that's yeah. so strange. It is unusual. Huh. Huh. This is... I mean, so this is just like... So... <laughs> the thing is, like, all these dual phrase brave weapons... I feel like this is, like, sort of a side grade to, like, Ninja Levitane, but... I've never seen anyone use that unit, so I'm kind of like, is this good? Like, to actually. be fair, she was a seasonal on a banner where Ninja Lin also existed, and most people were probably yeah. good for Ninja Lin. This is a sparkable unit on a sparkable banner. That's true. I'm just uh, not necessarily convinced yet. No, what, okay, what I think this is going to be is going to be like the baby uh, Kada situation, where like, it looks really good on paper, but you don't see them very often, and, like, you can still deal with them when you see them. Yeah, because I feel like, I mean, I I don't expect this unit to have really monstrous defensive stats. Mm -hmm. So that kind of, like, makes Vantage the niche, and, like, Vantage is just not so hot these days. And ironically, Vantage, like, could see a resurgence, like... Maybe. Most people don't really run hardy bearing, and if they do, it's on someone who you can get rid of or something like that. Mm -hmm. This is at least anyway, interesting. Anyway, I mean, good unit. Yeah, yeah interesting. Um, seems pretty strong. I guess sounds... we'll see what her stats are like. It sounds fun for sure, but actually, this unit is probably not going to show up much in gameplay because she has a dual skill. What does that affect? Anyone who gets this unit is going to feed her to a Versa. Oh, fair, like, yeah. She's just not going to exist as a unit for most people. True. <laughs> or maybe, I don't <laughs> know. That's, that's, her, that's what's happening. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to try and spark this banner, so I'm probably going to do full circles. There's a good shot she'll come home in there. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're sparking on this because there's a mythic. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I guess let's move on to uh, Zeke. What's Zeke's weapon? So he's got DC plus better QR? Or is it... I think it's dual is phase. Is it dual phase? That's really good. It's pretty good. I think it's, it's really like, good. His res is going to be zero, though. It just feels like most preferred weapons these days have like six more lines than that. <laughs> True, but this is because it's got DC in it. Unless yeah, you're Fallen Edelgard, you, you don't yeah. get much more on top of DC. Didn't who I... is there, aside from Fallen Edelgard, who has, like, a really big DC weapon? Halloween Grima. Right? Sorry. Wasn't that just one extra effect? I actually don't remember. I guess it was what? also, like, the standard dragon effects. Yeah, exactly. But, I don't know. I, I, I guess this is good. It's just, yeah, I don't mm -hmm. see... I guess I guess Defense Res Menace is actually pretty good with that. Mm-hmm. Huh. A tech defense catch is nice to have in the pool as well. Yeah, it's really, it's really interesting to me that they're throwing these cash skills into the general pool so fast when there are so many skills that, like, were trapped in limited unit uh, purgatory for so long. How much do you want to bet that the next legendary is going to have attack res catch 4 and then they're going to drop it the month after that in the regular pool as well? Because that's what they did with attack speed and attack defense. Yeah, I guess there's a real trend there. I, I also wonder if that means the next banner is going to have... Um, Attack res ideal, right? Because hmm. that was just on. Because they're sort of equivalent Wait. skills, right? But isn't attack res ideal on fallen Edelgard, or is she the one with attack defense? She has ideal? attack defense. Attack res was on oh, the one I think. Okay, okay, fair. I don't know. Are they gonna keep these even or what? I, I, I don't know. I'm also still not entirely. I, I still don't know. Don't even know what I think about these skills, to be honest. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I like them, I'm pretty sure I think they're better than solos, but I don't know. The thing is, like, they're still so rare right now that we never even really have the option of foddering them off. It's like, if we're gonna give someone a good skill, it'll be like a push or something like that, because we have a yeah. lot of those, or more of those, so you don't really have much experience with them. At least I don't. Yeah, yeah, I feel like my understanding of cash skills right now is really entwined with the units they're on. Like, 
Yeah. I might just assume attack defense catch four is really good because secret's just really hard to yeah. kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair. But also, this I mean, this Zeke might end up being really hard to kill too. Like, this kit gives me slight flavor of Dusel, but like a little bit more consistent. Even He's, his res is gonna be like twenty five at most. You can I quote don't know. me on that. You can quote me on that. Well, like I would. So like he's he's Camus, right? So mm -hmm. he should have low res, but then it's like, he has a built-in follow-up in his weapon, so is he gonna have, like, 12 speed? He if could be so. slow. Oh, wait. Oh, if he's slow, then... If they make or him maybe slow, it's like a pseudo-no follow-up. It could be, like, a pseudo-no follow-up, Yeah, it could be that. It could be, he, he could just have, follow-up. He could just have, like, 40 speed, and, yeah, so... Yeah, exactly. I don't know. There, there's That's a few ways guess. this could... But he also has Def Res Menace, which sort of makes it seem like he's gonna have big bulk. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. There's a lot of ways this unit could go, and a lot of them could end up being specifically really annoying in auto battle. <laughs> Possibly yeah. on other things, too. Excited for the demote, though? Yeah, me too. We've... I think I read somewhere that the last time a green mage got added to the common pool was Bowie? <laughs> Wait, wasn't that like... Years ago? Like, many years ago? Yeah, that was like, less than six months into the game. I might be misremembering <laughs> that, I don't have a source on it, but... I remember it was something... That actually sounds right. I remember reading it was something wild like that. Ones? Who are the common green merge projects? There's... Nino, um, I guess Bowie, Merrick... Cecilia. Cecilia? But Cecilia's not an infantry. Yeah, yeah, I really can't think of anyone, like, recent. We keep getting the red ones. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of red ones recently. Which there the were not Swiss a lot Sparrow of for a while The Swiss Sparrow in the common pool is great. Yeah, Swiss Sparrow, it's, it's way overdue. Mm -hmm. And it's, I assume Swiss Sparrow is going to be the 5 star skill, so it'll be cool to have Guard at 4 star available too. Mm hmm, that's also true. And, and Grand Fox took way too long to get into the game. Yeah. Just Although generally... I don't have anyone to give it to. <laughs> oh no, I don't either, but it's just like, it's about time. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this is like that's... a. Not the most interesting, but like very welcome. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the star of the banner. <laughs> More like the moon of the banner. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, she comes with DC? What? That's. And attack speed menace? Wait, her skills are kind of bonkers. Oh god, and as a defense mythic, she's, you're always. You're probably going to be baiting somewhere within four spaces of her. There's a decent chance that you're going to do that. Um, and you get, you get menaced. She does have Pathfinder. <sighs> She has... She has bonus doubler? In her weapon? I think so. Or... Bonus I, doubler yeah. and a flat plus five. Cool. Wonderful. Honestly, that's significantly worse than the unity on dagger. Yeah, especially, no, I agree. Especially on defense. Yeah, on defense where... Well, unless you find a way to force a turn one engagement with odd recovery with full buffs... Yeah, um, oh, yeah, Opera Cup Rigo is Busteroni now. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's been going like that, though. It's a really good But I mean, skill. With, with this, it goes, like, really Busteroni. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you have two of her. Yeah. So it looks like she... So she's getting free five stats from her weapon, plus potentially a lot more. And from her B skill, she's also inflicting attack speed minus five on foes, so she essentially gets a free 10 speed and 10 attack stat swing. Um, yeah. Or maybe not 10 attack, but definitely 10 speed. Yeah, and 10 Which to is both kind defenses. kind of ridiculous. Exactly. Yeah, that, and that's then she has attack speed menace, which could be another... Um, oh. Another 12 point swing. No, even more than that, another 18 point swing. Yeah. <laughs> this unit she seems strong. Might be a little bit good, yeah. I okay, but we we all know the real thing that's gonna make her a, a big nuisance to deal with on defense is obviously the Pathfinder. Yeah. Like I uh, am dreading seeing this unit at the front of like a Sigurd line. Or, or, or like a cav line or and i'm gonna yeah. stick her on my cav line so i'm part of the problem i just i just really wish that they hadn't gone this route making her a dark mythic yeah it's actually pretty disgusting 
Yeah, like I was I was still holding out hope that, you know, maybe maybe it won't be her, but no, they <sighs> They really did. Yeah. So anyway, what are your thoughts? Because I've been bent to hear a little bit, but what are your thoughts? Um, this is like a miscellaneous, irrelevant to everything thought. It's interesting to me that she comes with a max scoring uh, set of ABC skills. Like those are all 300 SP skills. It's just oh. not not something you really see that often. Kind of cool. True. Um, I honestly, I think she kind of leaves Saros in the dust. <laughs> Yeah, no, this, absolutely. This is like... I guess you have to be this good to take Bramiman's spot. <laughs> True. Actually, yeah, I like, guess I'll be replacing Bramimond. I don't even know. Yeah, this is like the level of power you need to bring to the table to even challenge Bramiman. Oh, wait, no, I guess you can technically stick her in as the... Um... Like, you oh, don't... Yeah. You can have three mythics, right? Yeah, but I, I just mean, like, in terms of the power level, like... Yeah. I... I, I like, Sothis, Hell, I don't even know if they belong in the <laughs> same room as this unit. I, Sothis and Yun, for sure, Hell's somewhere in the middle, and then, like... Well, so she, she has the same blessing as Hell. Oh, the defense, I see. It's just, like... Yeah, it feels overkill. It, it at seems that point. not. It seems not close to me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. I'm surprised they went with defense. I don't know. I, I just wasn't expecting that. I think defense is really important because defense is technically the most important stat in Dark Season. It makes like, if you run two knots, notes, whatever her name is, like now six times as many dancers are viable, right? I think probably. Just a rough estimate. Why? Because they have 10 more defense. But what do you mean viable? They don't get isolated by Mela. Oh, I hadn't even considered that. Well, I still don't think there are that many who are who are high enough to avoid a double fortress defense Mela. No, I, I, I wouldn't think so. Like, who, who else it's would, much, who would it's you much think more gets possible. added to that camp? It's, I'm just saying it's much more possible. Like, with two defense blessings, you can easily get Olivia there, for example. And that's just, like, Maybe very she gets available. Maybe she gets I don't think she needs to respond. I think it was possible to get her competitive if you max invested her already with one defense blessing, and now, like, having two is actually really... I don't know. I don't have the math in front of me, but just... Yeah, the seventh I mythic giving that, defense right. objectively makes more dancers viable, which is, like, in some ways good for the meta, in some ways I want to cry in the corner of my room. I have no problem with her giving defense. I just have a problem with the Pathfinder, really. Like, the rest of this unit would be manageable. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's it's, t it's yeah. tricky. She's a good unit. But the Pathfinder just... I'm not a fan of of, of sticking this... Like, I'm, I've am i already run yeah. into a double dagger defense team um, on defense. And, like, actually people using her on basically every team because she's sparkable, she scores well, she's a good unit. It's actually going to make light season something else yeah late season is about to get really insane i i will say um i think gale forest just got a little bit more valuable although actually this unit is going to be very hard to gale forest off of exactly i don't know if you're gonna <laughs> yeah i don't know gotta put panic smoke on someone or something <laughs> yeah no i was just gonna say the stocks of panic it feels like it's gone up a bit recently. I feel like I've started to see people starting to run visible buffs again on defense. Yeah, this is... But, but again, odd recovery just gets around that, so like... I, I think I think this is like, you need to go in on turn one. Yeah. You just need to... And, and it's it's that's really difficult to do sometimes. I will, I will if say... Especially if you have a far save. There's something about... She doesn't have no follow-up. And she doesn't really want to run null follow-up. There's something to do with that. But I'm not sure what. I don't know. This Lance unit Breaker is meta. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was already good, yeah. But again, like killing her is I mean, killing her might be a problem, but not as big of a problem as the Pathfinder. Which you can't you can't run like Pathfinder Breaker. No, but if you kill her, that is the Pathfinder Breaker. 
True, but with save skills, again, like, I guess you haven't seen as many as I have, but I swear, like, more than half the teams I run into every season have got, like, a far save Fatal card or far save Vector just kind of standing there. Yeah, no, this is definitely, um, hope everyone enjoyed last week of late <laughs> season because it's not going to be the same anymore. This is the end of fun light season. Though also the fact that she is blue does give extra credence to my Respondent Hector ideas, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like the mood kind of dropped once we started thinking about the implications of this unit. <laughs> so maybe we should... Yeah, I think we, we should just wrap up. I think so as well. Do you have any closing thoughts? Closing thoughts, I guess I will not be blowing the rest of my orbs on the Legendary Claude banner tonight, um, because I have to pull on this banner. And I, I despise yeah. the fact that I have to pull on this banner, I really do, but I, you just have to, like, to keep up with the AR meta, you have to become part of the problem. And I'm sorry if that sounds pessimistic, but that's really how it feels lately. Yeah, I mean, you just explicitly need at least one of every element of new mythic, and this is the last one, so... Anyway, um, do you have any? Do you have any final thoughts? Um, Swift Sparrow in the general pool. It's about time. How about that quick repost next? Intelligent systems. How about that? <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, it's definitely going to be sort of fun to be able to build new dark defenses at least. So I'll just try and focus on that for now and have a good time. <laughs> I guess you at least have that. I'm just gonna stick her on my cavalry. I have no energy right now to, you know, like to like theorycraft something completely new, and no motivation either. But you've you've been overdue for a new dark team for a while. I feel like so. Yeah, super overdue. I, I might base it on what I already have, but something something fun will happen. Something mm -hmm. cool. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So. Yeah. Um. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for. <laughs> ranting about this unit with me um we Always both play either rate so this is definitely gonna affect both of us but um hopefully we're hopefully we're overblowing our reaction hopefully it's not as bad as we think it's gonna be i guess we'll just start seeing it when this yeah. banner actually drops i think it comes out the same day as late season starts so we might get at least a few days before everyone has figured it out <laughs> Yeah, so I guess let us know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, let us know if you think we are overreacting or underreacting, because um, <laughs> it could be either. Um, or let us know if you agree with us, because that's also a possibility, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe we got it exactly right, down to the percentage point. It's possible. Um, anyway, so yeah, thank you for joining me. Um, and please check out Levin's channel. He makes Etherade's content, too, and his Etherade's content is great, so you should go check out his channel. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Subscribe to Promise. Bye. Bye.